Hello everyone and welcome to a new day. Um, I am right now about to head out to a Maze and Margiela replica event, which I'm so excited about because replica is one of my favorite, favorite fragrance brands. Just the absolute best. All of their fragrances are unisex and just some of the most unique fragrances. I've actually got my favorite one here with you. Let me show it to you. This is one of the first Sorry, I'm trying to get it out of my handbag, but this is actually one of the first fragrances I ever bought from Margiela, or Replica rather, you can see it's about halfway through. Um, and it's called By the Fireplace. It is one of my absolute favorite fragrances. I'm wearing it today um, to the event, and it is just amazing. Such a unique fragrance. It literally smells like you're like by a fireplace on a cozy evening. It's the best and just the most unique fragrance. Yeah, I'm about to head out. I'm wearing a very simple outfit with some edgy shoes I'm wearing some Manolos also because they're just very comfy but anyways um, my uber is about to be here so let's go is launching a new fragrance now it is labelless we have not been told what it's going to be called or anything of that um, all we can do is smell it and it definitely smells very fruity very floral which is not usually my uh, style we've got top notes of bergamot pink pepper oil what else geranium oil very very excited it smells very feminine kind of like first date night style I'm just leaving the event and I realized that the event is right by Reed's Gin Distillery, which is one of my favorite distilleries in the city. So I'm actually just walking over now before I catch an Uber. Oh, look at my camera. It doesn't even want to focus. Um, oh, there we go. But uh, yeah, I'm going to pop in and see if I can find some cute little gifts for family and friends because it's the cutest little distillery ever. all my little goodies from Reed's and I essentially got for one of our family friends I got him a little like tasting kit of gin I know he really really likes gin I think his favorite is Hendrix but I thought I'd get him something local um, so yeah if you're in Toronto check out Reed's distillery they have some awesome cute little tours and cocktail making classes if um, that's your thing but um, I'm gonna check my Ubers here also it is such a Canadian thing but I think in my last vlog I was like Sam you're walking outside and it's cold and it's so true I think when you get used to the cold like right now I'm in my Manolos and there is literal snow on the ground but I think you like just get used to it because it's very like unbothered especially when it's not windy I think when it gets really really cold is like when the wind chill is really high and that cold wind hits your face but um, yeah definitely not a bother but um, anyways I have a couple more minutes to wait for my uber so yeah I'll wait it out I can't sit down because the snow is all over the picnic bench, unfortunately. <laughs> Hello everyone, I just got home and I wanna show you what I got at Reed's, also what they kindly gifted me at the Margiela event. It was a wonderful event. And one of the things I will say that not all brands do when we get invited to events is that they don't always educate us on the product. And for me, the valuable piece of these events is learning more behind the products that they are talking about or the products that are being released or whatever the situation is. And that is something that Margiela is so, so good at. That's what they excel at is being able to tell us about the brand. We always learn a little bit about the history of the brand, about, you know, Margiela himself and all of these things. And so today we were actually kindly let in on some very exciting information. And that is that on December 26th, Maison Margiela or Replica is releasing a brand new 
scent. And for the first time ever, Canada is gonna be the first to have access to the scent on December 26th. This never happens. Um, us Canadians literally are the last ones to ever not only know about stuff, but also get our hands on it. So Sephora on December 26th will be releasing the new Margiela fragrance, which we don't know the name of it yet. We got to smell it and we got to um, hear of the notes and the sense of it and we kind of got the gist that the mood is kind of like a romantic dinner, something very like feminine and sensual. I will say, just by smelling the fragrance, I'm not sure it's quite my type of fragrance. I didn't get the opportunity to smell it on my skin, but it just right off the bat when I smelt it in the room, it smelled very sweet. I don't know why the scent that came to mind was like papaya. Papaya is not in it, but that's, or, um, Oh, what's that fruit that you like? Pardon? Guava. Guava was the, the, the fruit that came, I was... Oh, the wow. Yeah, guava is what came to mind when I first smelt it. It was floral and then guava, like that very like tropical sweet fruit is what came to mind when I smelled it just in the air. Um, now, I'm not gonna say I don't like it yet because this is what happened with when the rain stops. I actually sprayed it in the room, didn't like it. And then as soon as I sprayed it on my skin, it changed quite a lot. So I wanna actually try it out before I give you guys a full rundown of it. But anyways, I'm uh, blabbing on here. What they kindly gifted us was a little set of, by the fireplace now, a couple girls got lazy Sunday um, morning, but my favorite is fireplace. So I got another bottle of the by the fireplace and then I got a replica candle, which I'm so very excited about. These are some of the best like candles in my opinion and fragrances but the candles are so so fragrant like you light them for a couple hours and they just make the whole room smell like whatever it is that the scent is my favorite in the winter is by the fireplace i actually already had one and it didn't last very long um in my apartment because i just kept lighting it and it was so very good that's what i got at the event and then i stopped at reed's and i picked up something for as i was telling you a family friend i got him this cute little trio and then for jack a little stocking stuffer i got him the just the original reed's gin just a little mini me baby bottle so cute and it looks exactly like the big bottles. If you're actually buy like a regular sized Reed's gin bottle, it would look exactly like this. It's so, so beautiful. Look how cute that is. Oh, adorable. And then I finally came home to my Reformation order, which I ordered on Black Friday, believe it or not. And they really, really messed up my address, whatever, but it arrived. So I want to open it up with you and I'm actually going to wear this because I want to get out of this outfit that I was wearing. But I ordered the Cashmere, oh, is it the Boyfriend Crew? I can't remember, let me look at the name. Yeah, so this is the Cashmere Boyfriend Sweater in the color Chestnut. Now you guys know I have it in the orange. I love the orange. I actually love the sweater so much, but not all day, every day do I feel like wearing something so bright. So I got it in the like chocolate brown, the shade is Chestnut, but I got it in the chocolate brown color. I'm so excited to wear it. It is absolutely amazing. I'm honestly really, really impressed by Reformation's cashmere quality. It is truly, truly beautiful. And I got this in Black Friday, so I think everything was like 20 or 30% off for Black Friday. I can't quite remember, but it took a while to arrive. They're usually really, really quick. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go put this on and get into some comfier clothes. And then I'm gonna have lunch because they didn't feed us at the event. And I'm really hungry. So anyways, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna show you what this looks like on because I'm very excited. To show you guys sweater is on i'm wearing it with my totem jeans and my little burberry belt absolutely love this sweater it is amazing and i'm so glad i got it because i just i really wanted to keep wearing my orange one but honestly some days i just didn't feel like wearing orange so yeah i really like it but mom and i um she's actually up here in toronto with me um working with me today so we're just gonna have a little bit of a snack we also just ordered some salads from mandy's you know i kept saying that like it was okay but i feel like I keep craving salads, so clearly their salads are not bad. Um, so yeah, but I have to do a little bit more editing on my computer. I also want to show you something new, which is really cool actually. Last night, I went to an event with Shiseido, um, and I didn't actually vlog it, but I want to tell you a little bit about the product because I think it's actually really, really cool. And it's cool at the same time because Shiseido, I think I've mentioned, I used in high school and I never really appreciated it for all the science and the technology behind it, but this new product, this is called the Bio Performance Serum. Now I have the night one here, but I have the day one in my dressing room, but 
This new serum uses a super, super cool technology, and I have the little pamphlet here to tell you about it. It is called the Molecule Shift Technology. Come on, Mom. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, so this new technology that they are using in this particular serum um, actually uses hyaluronic acid and what they're doing is that this technology shifts the shape of hyaluronic acid molecules so they become smaller, they can penetrate the skin and then expand. Um, so it actually shows you here, I'll show you here. As you can see, so this is the new technology that they're using. So you can see the molecule shifts to something smaller, that way it can go deep into the skin. Whereas other ones, they have the bigger molecules which struggle to get through the skin barrier. Um, and then this one here, I guess, is another type of molecule whereby the molecules are really, really small and they kind of break off into little pieces. Anyways, I just thought that was really, really cool technology that I wanted to share with you. Um, unfortunately, like I had mentioned um, earlier with the Margiela event at Shiseido last night, we didn't actually get to learn much about the product. The event was actually held at the AGO, which I love, um, to see a new Leonard Cohen um, exhibition. But at the actual event, they didn't really tell us anything about this product. So I kind of just sat here and was reading all about it because um, I thought it was really, really cool. But um, yeah, I wanted to tell you guys because I thought that was awesome. Anyways, I'm going to go have a snack now and do a little bit more work. And... Yeah, I'm also going to do some gift wrapping tonight as well. I finally got a couple more gifts and yeah. It is now 5.30 and I'm just now eating my salad. The Uber took forever to arrive. My mom even got like a $5 voucher from Uber because it took so long to arrive. I don't know if this poor guy got like caught in traffic. Honestly, not surprising in Toronto. But um, yeah, having my peanut saute salad after like two hours. <music> Good morning, everyone. I am all cozied up today in my Provenza schooler sweater. I've also got a Holland Cooper um, turtleneck underneath because I just wanted to be nice and cozy today. But I am just about to put out my new William Sonoma towels. I was gonna do that with you, and then I'm also making breakfast at the moment. I'm having just some toast with some soft boiled eggs. But let me show you what it looks like because I think I need to steam the hand towel. This is what it looks like right now. Obviously, you have like the fold line but i need to steam it that way it looks nice and sleek and i think i like it it's quite nice i think it brings in some of the green elements in this apartment um just seemed a bit more festive than the black and that's the towel steamed it's amazing how such a little detail can make such a big difference you can I feel like I can kind of still see it there I might have to get the iron out but looks a million million times better than before while the water boils it's almost boiling I have something new to show you and it is amazing so let me grab it so I can show you so as you guys know I've been looking for some like under eye like patches just to like help brighten my under eyes especially in the morning like I just wake up with such dark circles and anyways, I've been on the hunt for some new under eye patches and I think I have found the ones and actually it was thanks to the lovely lady at the Sephora. I pretty much was just like, look, I'm looking for under eye patches. I want something that's really brightening, great for in the morning. And she was so quick to respond. And when she was quick to respond, that like reassured me that she knew exactly what she was talking about. And she recommended the Peter Thomas Roth Hyaluronic Cloud Hydra Gel Eye Patches. And she actually told them to keep them in the fridge, which is where I've been keeping them. Oh my God. These are absolutely amazing, especially when you keep them in the fridge. Um, I have used them now three times, I think, three or four times. They're really, really good. I cannot tell you how much brighter my eyes look and how much less puffy my under eyes look. Now, these are a little bit on the pricier side, but I'm going to link the set that I got because it is worth every single penny. So Sephora actually has a little set that is you get the eye patches and a full size. Like these are both full size products of the water drench hyaluronic cloud cream hydrating moisturizer. Um, you get them both in a set for $75 and I believe like the eye patches themselves are like $70. So you're pretty much getting like two in one. And honestly, I'm so glad she recommended this to me because this moisturizer is so good. It, it literally feels like water going on your face. I used it this morning and last night because I really wanted to see how it felt like on my skin. And wow, it is definitely making its way up the ranks. Um, it's really, really lovely. But 
these eye patches phenomenal absolutely phenomenal i will have to show you like a before and after maybe tomorrow morning i'll do that with you guys show you a before and after because they are so so good it really just leaves my eyes like brighter less puffy it's amazing and just to quickly show you what they look like inside they actually come with a little like spatula to get the um little eye patches out which i think is brilliant because instead of sticking your finger in there and then they just look like this so that's what they look like and they just feel so nice to the touch like they're really really cold and hydrating which i love so anyways new discovery just wanted to show you now the other ones that i had were the ones from holt renfrew and my feedback on those is that they were okay i didn't really feel like they did anything for like the darkness under my eyes obviously my eyes felt quite hydrated and smooth but i didn't really feel like they did anything for my darkness these do the whole run for ones unfortunately didn't i'm still going to use them all up i've tried at this point i've tried all the different ones that the little pack came with but none of them really stood out to me those honestly might be better for like wrinkles or like crow's feet but in terms of darkness i don't feel like they did much so anyways i just really wanted to show you this because i just tried it out two days ago for the first time and it was so good so good yeah, anyways, I'll link the little set that I got because it's honestly, it's a deal. You're saving money. You're getting two products in there. Anyways, um, my water's boiling, so I'm going to go put the eggs in there now and have breakfast because I'm starving, 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 starving. Hello, everyone. I just changed because I'm going out for some coffee um, with a friend. So I was just finishing to get ready, and I thought I would turn the camera on and get ready with you. But this is something that I do, especially in the winter. I actually start my outfits a lot of the time, not all the time, but I start my outfits with my coat and oftentimes accessories. So today it is like super slushy, rainy, snowy, um, and this is the worst. And it means like it's not raining, so you don't need an umbrella, but it's also not snowing. So you like the wet snow will like get your hair wet. So anyways, I'm wearing a hat. I'm wearing this one from Aritzia. It's quite old. This is just like, I believe it's wool. I don't think it's cashmere. This one is, doesn't say what it is. But anyways, it's from Auxiliary, just a classic white little toque. And then I'm wearing my white, this one's from Aritzia. This is a slouch coat. That's what I'm wearing. So I chose those two things and then I chose my outfit underneath, which I'll show you in a second. I've got to finish getting ready. Oh, no, my lipstick, my lipstick. I needed my play to poe lipstick. Where did it go? There it is. I got it. Just came in here quickly to touch up my makeup. I'm going to add a little bit of my Clay de Poe Luminizing Face Enhancer. This is in the new one that I got. I absolutely love it. It adds such a beautiful, like, shimmer and bronze and, oh, just the best. I love it. Um, and then to add a little bit of color, because I feel like I look a little bit pasty right now, I'm going to add my little Dior blush just to bring some color into my face. And then for my setting spray, I'm actually gonna use a new favorite. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This has the best mist ever, that like I've literally ever used. And I actually got this from, oh, what's her name? She's so funny. She's in makeup. Kathleen Lights. I used to watch her all the time in high school. I haven't watched her as much now, but um, she says that this is amazing. And it truly, truly is. Like, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but this is how good the mist is. I don't know if you can see that, but it is amazing. I don't love the smell, but the mist is worth, it's worth it. So worth it. And then my Clay de Poe lip, lipstick. It's actually lipstick, but it feels like a balm. And it just looks so, so beautiful. It's literally like your lips, but better. And then, now that I'm ready, I'm going to add some socks. These are some new socks that I actually found from the brand Tilly. And they're wool socks. Wool socks are essential during the winter, especially if you're wearing like leather boots that are not like insulated. This is my trick to wearing leather boots because I hate winter boots, okay? They're clunky, they make your feet like super hot. Like someone just needs to design really beautiful and aesthetic, non-clunky winter boots. 
someone needs to do it. But anyway, so my trick to wearing leather boots is wool socks. Roots does great wool socks, but I wanted a pair that was just really sleek. So I got these from Tilly. Um, and Tilly is a brand that actually started with hats. Um, I believe the owner of the brand was really focusing on hats, like bucket hats and stuff like that. And the company got bought out and they started essentially selling other things like sweaters and jackets and socks. So I bought myself a pair of the white and a pair of the black. And they are absolutely amazing. I mean, they're just like literal white socks, not the most attractive thing in the world, but you know, they'll keep my feet and my toesies warm. Also, I just really don't like socks, so if I don't have to wear socks, I will not wear socks. Wearing my Banana Republic boots. Can't believe how much wear I've gotten out of these boots. They're amazing. Right, not too shabby, just wanna be comfy. Okay, and I'm adding my little H&M shawl, just cause I wanna be Super, super cozy. In fact, I might even untuck my sweater just to give a more like cozy, cozy vibe. Oh, so, so cozy. I love this shawl. This is like the best, like, I don't even remember how much it was, 30, 40 dollars I ever spent. Can't believe how much wear I've gotten out of this thing. It is starting to um, pill a little bit, but that's something that I'll use my little like shaver for pilling and it'll come right off and look brand new. But anyways. I'm gonna grab my handbag and my coat and stuff. I really don't like hats, but gotta protect, protect the hair at all costs. <laughs> and then coat. Oh, this is why I say winter is nice from the inside because putting all these layers is like a pain in the butt, but. Let's see. I should stop at Aritzia and get some white gloves because I don't have any. I feel like a little white snowflake today. <laughs> oh God, oh God. I hate winter sometimes. All right, how do we look? Good? I need my handbag. And handbag, I'm gonna wear my saddle bag because this leather is snow and rain friendly um, because it is like textured. Um, and I do have to keep into consideration that when the snow melts, as soon as you get inside a restaurant or a coffee shop, it just gets everything wet and stuck. All right, let's go. Also, when it's so dark outside that I can keep my Christmas tree on all day. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. All right, let's go. The weather is crazy. Although I walked out as pouring rain, so I had a full on outfit change, as you can see. And now it is like partially snowing, partially raining. It is, the weather is so confused right now. There's also like ice and slush on the floor, but also like puddles of water. <laughs> oh, anyways, I'm running a couple minutes late, but that's okay. I'm almost there. There's so much ice on the snow. Or on the floor, sorry. Oh. Heading home now, it is super, super snowy and rainy, but um, I'm gonna try and uh, walk as fast as I can and catch the train. Hello everyone, I just got home. I'm looking a little bit crazy because it was snowing so much out there. I literally ended up having to use my umbrella to walk home um, because like the snow was just like hitting my face. Couldn't see where I was going. But I got home um, to a couple packages, one from Missouri and one from Michael Kors and I have no idea what they are. I didn't order them so I thought I would open them up with you. Um, I think I'm gonna get myself situated on the floor. Honestly, it looks like the most comfortable position right now um, or spot, I guess. <laughs> so let's do that. Package number one. Looks quite big. I feel like this is like olden times in my old apartment, if you know, you know. But let's get into this also like, like this is like the best backdrop ever, but let's do it. So let's see what is in here. Oh my God, look at, oh my God. I feel like I should, this with my phone too. 
feel like you guys can't see up there. I'm missing out. Where do I get you? You know what? We are pausing the Michael Kors unboxing. That way I can show it to you somewhere else. But whilst I'm seated, seated, sitting down, let's open up Mission very quickly and then I'll move to the couch. That way I can properly show you the unboxing of the Michael Kors because I feel like you guys can't see it here and you're gonna miss out on the experience. <laughs> but let's see what is in here. Oh, wow. <gasps> is this what I think it is? Oh, yes, it is. Okay. Cute. Oh, Doc's gonna love this. <laughs> so this is the, so we got a little card here and it says, wishing you a happy and healthy holiday season, the Missouri Influencer Team. And then another little card says, we thought you might like a version of your favorite jewelry to keep on full display. Meet Golden Hour, created in collaboration with Piecework, a puzzle brand that invites you to slow down and connect. Um, so I've got a puzzle piece. Um, and as you can see, this is what it is. It is all of the Missouri items. So I can see the herringbone necklace, um, the Charlotte gold ring, the other diamond ring, um, the croissant dome. Oh, there's mine right there. That's my, can you see it? My red ring that I'm wearing. My other ring, also wearing it. Oh, and there's my little charm. Oh, so cute. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, I have that too. <laughs> so cute. See, I feel like, Jack and I are gonna have so much fun. We'll have a wine night while we have some, while we do a puzzle. Oh, that'll be fun. We were actually talking, I think like a couple weeks ago about potentially getting a puzzle to do together. So this is perfect. Well, thank you so much, Missouri. I'm so, so very thankful and always so proud to work with you guys. But yeah, anyways. Okay, let's do Michael Kors. I moved you further away so you can hopefully see a little bit of what's in here. I'll also have to get like an overview shot of it, but let's open this up. Oh, just a little tie there. Dear Samantha, wishing you and your family an incredible holiday season. We noticed you had your eye on this during one of our recent visits. Please enjoy it and we know you'll wear it with style. Let's see. Huh? Oh, see, I love Michael Kors. They are just the sweetest. I have gotten very close with the Michael Kors team because they're just honestly like the loveliest people. And anyways, oh, so exciting. Okay, let me show you guys this. As you can see, there's a color in here that I really, really like. Oh, this is the large Hamilton. Oh, isn't she beautiful? Oh, so the Hamilton is one of my absolute favorite styles. Um, and up until now, I don't have this bag. I guess now I do, so exciting. Um, but the Hamilton is a phenomenal style. So it's a top handle. This is a large style. Um, it does come in a smaller size, but it is also a crossbody, as you can see here. And it also has so many compartments. And my favorite thing about this is that this little attachment here is actually removable. So if I want something really sleek, I can take it off. But if I want something a little bit edgier, um, then I can keep this buckle on and have that there, which I absolutely love. Oh, how beautiful is that? Well, I am feeling so very, very grateful for this. Um, thank you guys at Michael Kors. You guys are just the loveliest. And honestly, your attention to detail is unlike no other. Um, but. Okay, I guess you guys just welcomed the newest addition to my collection. This is the beautiful Hamilton in an awesome orange color. Oh guys, this is gonna go so good with my totem orange shirt. <gasps> so exciting. Oh, so grateful. So very, very grateful. Thank you so much, Michael Kors, once again. I'm so proud to work with a brand that is so thoughtful in everything that, that they do. So, yeah. Oh. 16 year old Sam would not believe that this is her life, but um, so grateful, so grateful. Um, anyways, I'm actually gonna take a minute to take it all in, so I'll chat with you in a couple minutes. Well, I'm feeling very grateful, um, and it just feels so special to work with brands that I have such a beautiful relationship with. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And I feel like we're nearing close to Christmas. I'm so excited. Um, you'll have to let me know what you guys are doing during the holidays. I would love to know. For us, 
we will be spending lots of time with family it's all about family this year that is the theme i mean it usually is every year but this year i feel like especially but anyways like i said i am about to go make dinner and get settled in for the night so i will see you guys in sunday's video something like that i'm not sure anyways bye Mwah.